And they are on the way. And the under 20 boys, 400 meters. Everybody going off to a clean start. So then you and, and Stephen Newball all getting on to a good start. Here they come at the 250 mark. Who wants it more? Who wants it more? I want it more. You want it more. Here we come. 150 to go. Stephen Newborn is close to staying up on just about every ball. Jamaica is out front. Here comes Stephen Newborn and the fool. Here comes down the 100 minutes to go. Neck and neck with Jamaica. Newborn. Jamaica. Bahamas. Jamaica. Bahamas. Jamaica. Bahamas. Jamaica. Bahamas. Jamaica. Hey, come to the left. Oh, oh Sedeno. Sedeno. Marcio Sedeno. Wow. Oh, Marshall Sedino from Trinidad. Marshall, a strong race there. You came down in the last couple of meters to fight it off. What was the was that the game plan for you to fight in those last couple of meters? Oh well Larry's was my game plan. My coach has it. I will stick with the guy's position itself. 300 into the race, but I messed up my race plan because I was mentally out of the race. So I just pulled it together and I just ran them strong. Did you feel good about how you ran there coming down in the last couple of meters that you had to really fight strong for it? I really didn't know how the kick coming home, but I did it and I thank God for that. All right, thanks a lot, Michelle from, from Trinidad. We're going to talk a race there. Coming down in the last couple of meters, you had to fight off a Jamaican and Trinidadian. How close did you think that they were, and did you think you had enough to push it through, and you just overestimated? Um, I, knew this, I knew they were very close. Uh, they're pretty good quarter milers. I just went out there, and I ran my own race. I, didn't, I wasn't worrying about anybody else, and I just did, uh, did it to the best of my abilities. That's a second... It's not a PR, but it's the second fastest time I've ever ran. Considering this is my first outdoor meet, so I'm very pleased as to where I am right now. And hope, hopefully I'll be running faster later on in the season. Does this give you even more push in the rest of your events here? It definitely does. Like I said, it's my first outdoor meet. So 46-0 and 45-94, it definitely puts me on the map, and I'll just work harder during the season. Last couple of meters, you heard the Bahamian crowd behind you. Was that a push for you? And do you think that that's going to be even more louder or louder when you get into your other events? Yeah, it definitely was a push for me. Um, I enjoy the energy and the excitement the crowd gives us. Uh, and it definitely will push us throughout the meet. All right, thanks a lot. Stephen Newbold from, from Bahamas. We have Baker Javan right there. You were caught up in a, in, a, in a, I guess, a whirlwind. You had Michelle from Trinidad and Newbold from the Bahamas running right around you. What, were you. what kept you focused to stay in there and hold on for that silver? Well, I just go out there, I do my best. Before, before I go out there, I pray to the Lord and give thanks, but it's God come first. Coming off the curve, what was going on in your mind where you sat? I think you sat in third coming off the curve. What did you think about coming off that at that point to go after a silver? Well, come off the corner very fast. And then I see Trinidad and... So, uh, uh, see so I said to myself, I'm going to have to get a medal to go home to show my family, friends, and relatives. Good job there, Jovan. Congratulations. Good run there, Jovan Francis from Jamaica finishing in second. Again, Trinidad's Marshall Cedinho coming in first. Jovan Francis from Jamaica coming in second. And Stephen Newbold had the fight, thought he was in the race right at the beginning. But he says it's going to be an impetus for him to go after the rest of his events at this year's Crypto Championships. He still takes home a second fastest personal time and a bronze medal.